Okay, with all the ceiling panels on there, now we're on to the uh, final part of the outside bit. Um, another windy day, so probably not good sound quality. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to trim up around the edges with PVC, the normal um, cladding boards that we use. There is no specific things we can use for this, we just have to buy oversize and cut them to fit. So it's a lot of um, playing around and moulding it all in order for it to work. Uh, but just watch it and you'll see how I've done it. It's too small, it doesn't do the job. We need to position it so that it works. Right, that one there is coming to dead centre. So that can be this side, possibly. This one can go to the other side. So let's try that again. There's the centre. Perfect, right, so that is what we've got. Quite a jaggy, horrible mess of it. The other side is quite clean. That's the trouble with the plastic. Carefully, maybe. Uncress it, please. Exactly. Get that in and just hold support, not support it. Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna get one there for a bit. 
more sturdy when you haven't touched it.
and set it. Yep, that's working. Okay, so that's the gutter back up. Now at least we're watertight. Um, And this is what it looks like from the inside. It's, um, you can still see the timbers, uh, but the ceiling panels are nice and tight, nice and sealed. And against the wall, you've got the wall plate there. Still all open. Oh, there you go. That was quick, wasn't it? Very simple, very easy. Just a case of putting a few panels on the wooden frame that we put around, seal it all up. Put some plastic trim down to make it look pretty. You've got a new roof. Very easy. Should we have a quick look around? See what it looks like. And here, end fascias. I've just got um, big pieces of PVC sheeting and just cut them the shape I needed, as you can see on the video that I've just shown you. Uh, and I put this bottom cap on because it was a bit ropey and I needed a spacer bar behind it. So I just capped it off with that, nice and clean. Above the gutter, you see where I cut the profile in. Obviously it wasn't a snug fit, it's not a factory manu manufactured thing, so I had to fill gaps, but cleaned with the silicon in there, nice and tidy. And also up the other end, I can see with the sun in my eyes here, <laughs> you can see there, again capped at the bottom, making it nice and tidy. So my intention with this finish now is I'm going to put in a false ceiling. Uh, that's why I've not been too bothered about the finish on this, which is why I managed to save so much money. I got seconds. Um, now, a false ceiling which will go level from the window tops to the door tops, giving me a minimum of 100mm. Uh, all that's going to be is frame worked up and then the PVC ceiling panels put in and cleaned up around the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. Main reason for that is so I can get lights anywhere I want. As you noticed before, I had a lighting board down one side because the last ceiling wouldn't allow it, the last roof wouldn't allow it. That's why I've raised this one up, the 100mm. So now, even at the lowest point of the pitch, I can still get a recessed light in because I've got a 100mm difference. So I'll, I'll then be putting eight recessed lights up and down there. But that will be another video. But now, this one is completed. Right, anyway, so, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed the uh, whole process of this and you've learned something from it. Because like I said, 
as far as I can see, this is the first one that's been done this way, that's been published as being done. If anyone else has done it, they're keeping it quiet. Um, but if you're not dipping, if you've done it, or if you've known somebody that has, get in touch, give us a link, let me have a look. Because it'd be interesting to see the comparables of what you've done, what I've done, or what they've done, or what I've done. Um, but until then, I have to uh, take it that this is probably the first steel conservatory book. I don't understand why, because it's such a practical idea, such a simple idea. Um, but there you go, hopefully it'll catch on. Spit it around, help it catch on. But until then, leave your comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that and we'll have a discussion about it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, do so because I've got lots of, lots of good videos coming out just very soon um, and you'll, you, you hit the bell, you'll get the link straight away. Um, other than that, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. I'm sure you've liked it. I love it. It's brilliant. Uh, and I'll see you again next time. Okay, bye for now.